Happy Earth Day everyone! My name is Kate and I'm an educator at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. I'm happy to take you guys all around the world from the comfort of your own homes. Earth Day is a great opportunity for us to learn about where we fit into our global ecosystem and take action. So I'm excited to share with you guys how our small, everyday decisions can lead to big changes. First, let's stick around here in Utah to spotlight a colorful amphibian. This is my friend Newman, the tiger salamander. Salamanders are a great indicator species, meaning scientists can look at how healthy they are and make a good guess of the health of that ecosystem. This is because amphibians breathe through their skin, so they're especially sensitive to pollution in the water and soil. Whatever affects amphibians may also affect people. When chemicals are a byproduct of our activities, the parts of the earth that help us breathe like bodies of water soak all of those chemicals up, much like a tiger salamander's skin. We should be listening to scientists studying our oceans and atmosphere and use them as our own indicator that something might be out of balance and we need to change. Now let's check in with the main part of the earth that helps us breathe. Next stop, the Caribbean islands. Hello, I'm Sally and this is a Caribbean hermit crab. These guys are really awesome and they are really good at reusing things that other animals don't need anymore. So they'll use leftover food scraps or they'll use shells that other animals don't need anymore. But something that is happening is they are using plastic bottles or plastic bottle caps instead of shells and other plastics as well, um, which is not very good. It doesn't give them the protection they need and it carries harmful toxins. So something you guys can do to help these animals and to help our earth is to remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. The ocean helps supply 70% of the earth's oxygen supply. So now we're gonna go somewhere where they also help us breathe. Hi, my name is Sam, and this is Dusty. Dusty is an African gray parrot from the Congo rainforest of Central Africa. You can find these birds living in trees and flocks where they will make a nest. Unfortunately, much of our rainforests are being stripped away to make room for cattle ranching and agriculture. Now this is becoming a big problem as birds like Dusty are not able to find areas where they can make a nest and make a home. Now don't worry, there are things you can do to help. One such thing is to try to eat less beef. If we can reduce the amount of meat we eat altogether, maybe pick one day out of the week, like a meatless Monday, then we can better reserve this land for birds like Dusty and other animals that rely on the rainforest. We've put together some activities you can do with Newman, Sebastian, and Dusty. These activities are placed in the description on this post. You can also take action by becoming a citizen scientist using the Earth Challenge 2020 app, which can be found on any app store you use. Thanks for letting us share just a couple minutes of Earth Day with you. And don't forget to share your finished activity pages using hashtag EarthChallenge2020 and hashtag EarthRise. We've been excited to share with you how your small, consistent, and conscious decisions can lead to big changes. Whatever.